and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Poogie. So today we will make Christmas come early as we help the Twinklies out here because what they want us to do is save them um, from these annoying Twinkly munchers. And the only way to defeat them is with a ground pound and you have to actually have a good rhythm going with these guys. Otherwise, you will mess up. And I've already messed up a good number of times on these guys, so yeah. And no, you cannot actually quit this game either. Seriously. All the while, this really happy music plays while they get eaten by these gigantic offspring of Barney the Dinosaur and Gex the Gecko. Seriously. I know that Gex was won by, um... Uh, what was it now? Crystal Dynamics. That's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know about Croc. Remember Croc from Argonaut Software? Yeah, another 90s uh, platformer that was trying to, um, I guess, ape um, Crash Bandicoot. At least uh, Banjo Kazooie did its own thing there. Uh, I guess Croc did as well. Uh, Razzatap Rap apparently also works with these guys. Unfortunately, um, yeah, I am not good at this at all. Um, because there's always a wind up with the um, thing there. Seriously. And um, this isn't the only thing we have to do in order to help the Twinklies here. Seriously. Anyway, um, yeah. But that's not the only thing. I decided to go with the rat attack rat just for the sake of. Um, thing. It's fine if you let a few of them get munched, but don't let all of them get munched, basically. Um, so, yeah. Timing is everything with this, as I say. You can't roll into them either. Apparently, I did manage to there, though. Um, doesn't always work as the roll. Uh, move is a bit hit and miss with Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, the rat attack rap usually hits them without the problem of the wind up with the um, um, see the um, beat buster, the ground pound move. So yeah. Other than that, yeah, I finally got a good rhythm going. So you go one, two, three, and then go back and rinse and repeat with these guys. Seriously, that's the best way I can think of it as. And, and use the rat attack rap, not the beat buster, at least in my humble opinion. And once we have done, we can now turn on the power on the Christmas tree. So, um, that being said, now um, let's indeed do that. And that means having to go around the very cold pool and uh, also having to deal with these ice cubes. Although they will give you some honeycombs if you can defeat them. Think of them like the Amiiboys from Ratchet and Clank. They behave in a similar way to that. Um, I don't know if Kazooie's eggs are enough to turn on the lights. Let's see. Yes, they are! And with that, now we have to, to go through the star. And if um, I thought having to um, swim through the anvil to rescue Clanker was a problem, this is even worse because the timer starts immediately after you save the Twinklies. Seriously, so I've kind of wasted 10 seconds already and you have to fly over to the ring and get Kazooie into the right position to do so. And no, I do not want to use the Beat Bomber in order to do so. Does the star move any further? No, but there is a great sense of collision detection with this thing, seriously. So yeah, and um, it's not easy to do. Um, you can actually press, I think it's the right trigger to actually center the camera behind Banjo and Kazooie. And once we've flown through the star three times, just like with Clanker's key, we can actually go inside and get the Jiggy inside the Christmas tree, so yeah. But before I do, uh, actually no, 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 I don't know if I'll get that, um, thing. I don't want to go into the freezing cold water and hear Banjo go, Brrr! And instead, I'll just, well, jump up and climb its roots. There's also another Mumbo token if you want it. I've already got the, um, transformation. And weirdly enough, there are a couple of termites in here. Yeah. Unfortunately, they won't admire uh, Banjo's backpack like before. But, uh, them's the bricks. So, indeed, also some notes. 
And also another present! Yeah! Um, well, that makes actually some sense with the Christmas and everything, but uh, that being said, let's go up here, and there is the Jiggy at the top. Yes, uh, some people will put a star or a fairy, but well, we have got a star at the top of this Christmas tree, but yeah. So we've got that Jiggy inside the Christmas tree. Very hard Jiggy to get, actually, in this level, so yeah. So indeed, let's go down here. Get a few more red feathers because I'll need to if I'm going to um, um, help destroy those small snowmen. And why not? Get some notes. I'll need a whole load of them in order to uh, get the extra stuff for... Um, what was it now? I can't remember. So I'm not going to even bother. So instead, let's go back over here. We can see there the snowmen. And so I actually do this. So I actually destroy those annoying snowmen with Kazooie's beat bomb. I think I might. Let's see. Well, basically, with these snowmen, what you have to do is get Kazooie into a good position again um, while avoiding their snowballs. Um, it may sound easy, but I've had some of the worst things happen. It looked there like I was going to actually get that snowman. But no, Kazooie veered off to the right there, and pretty much... And sometimes I just get hit by their snowballs. Seriously, it's right pain in the ass. Uh. Okay, then we're back. And uh, indeed, uh, yeah. Um, one of the snowmen actually does reveal the witch switch. Yes, it's under one of these snowmen. I was too low there. Um, think of it as my fault. Uh, and I only have so many, um, dare I say, um, things left. So let's see. I have 34 things, uh, 34 red feathers. Also, there's another um, uh, present in the middle of the area, so you might want to get that if you're going for Boggy's family. Uh, so yeah, uh, the beat bomber also costs a beat bomb. I'm not sure which. I think it's the beat bomb. Uh, costs uh, you red feathers as well, so be careful where you are using that. I think it costs about one. I think this is the one where the, um, if I'm flying directly over this, this snowman here I think has the uh, witch switch, but let's see. Oh no, 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 I'm wrong. Maybe it's the, but one of them does, yeah. So indeed, um, yeah. Okay, so can I position Kazooie? Keep in mind that I don't want to... Okay, that one had the witch switch. So, yeah. And at the at the very end, the um, Jiggy will appear on top of the giant snowman's hat. And that isn't the only one we will get here. Who oh, no. knew? So, indeed, uh, let's fly all the way up there using our remaining red feathers, if I can. Which I can. Although there's another giant thing. So, wrap it up, wrap that annoying cube. And get the Jiggy there. And yeah, why not? I need the health! Even though I lost it to that one that's spinning around like it's... Don't know. Forget it. Um, I do want to stay on, um, near the giant snowman, however, because I want to go over to his um, pipe. And... Um, there I even say it, get the uh, Jiggy inside that. That's a fairly easy Jiggy to get, so long as you're positioned right in this level, inside of VZZ Peak. Um, but I'll get to that once I've got all the notes here in on top of his hat. Seriously, because I do want to get all of, as many notes as I can in order to unlock the extras before I fight um, the final, final boss, which of course would be Gruntilda herself. Um, although we'll get to that. Um, do I need any more red eggs? I don't know, but I'm getting them. Just for the sake of getting them, I guess. You will need them for the final, final boss. Don't get me wrong. And then, there's another present. Uh, yeah, right on the uh, snowman's nose there. Okay, fine. So in order to get the Jiggy inside his pipe, we will need to use a couple of shock jump pads. Well, actually, no, only one. Walk along very carefully, and then jump inside and get the um, Jiggy there. Not too bad, actually, compared to that annoying one I had to do to, to just get um, the things there. So now I'll just get the notes around his scarf. 
the media area. I, I already went up his scarf previously. What do you know? I can see the blue ginger over there. It's a shame I wasted all my feathers, but um, I don't know. Maybe I can jump from from his head. I don't know if that would work. Also, a couple of gold feathers on his eyes. Seriously. What have they done to you, Frosty? All right, yeah, yeah. Because you're more famous than your your brother, um, Chili. That's why. Yeah, apparently uh, even Rareware wanted to put Frosty the Snowman in, in their game. Because they didn't use his theme song. Anyway, let's go down here and get the, um... Again, Blue Jinjo! So, yeah! Um... Honestly, um... I'm gonna have to really struggle to get off this broom. Seriously. But, as I say, I do not have the... I don't know if I have the ability to get over that. Okay, yes I can. I was worried there wouldn't be much headroom for Banjo and Kazooie there. Also, I will get some more um, honeycombs if I can. And then I'm going to jump off. No, not worth uh, risking my life for that. Seriously, fall damage is a thing in Banjo and Kazooie, and I do not want to fall into the very, very cold water. So instead, I'm going to go around the long way to get the last present. And then deliver them to Boggy's family. Yep. So we are making Christmas come true for two lots of people here. Shame that uh, their, their dad is a total asshole. Seriously. Um, if I were Mrs. Boggy, who, who is a character actually, she appears... I don't know if she appears in this game, but she certainly appears in, in the sequel Banjo-Tooie. Um, I would uh, divorce him, seriously. Also, before I go on... Um, this will open the Jiggy inside the advent calendar with the witch switch. And that Jiggy is very hard to guess. I don't get it until I think I go towards Rusty Bucket Bay. Seriously, not until I go to Rusty Bucket Bay. But that being said, I am going to go up here and go back to the flight pad. Maybe fly back to where Boggy's family are, I don't know. Oh, just towards where that, um where the last thing is, because, to be honest, I can't be asked walking. No, I cannot be asked walking. So there's the last uh, things. So now we can deliver them to Boggy's family. Yeah. But yeah. Boggy is such an asshole. I don't even want to say. Seriously. But then I do like Rareware's game. Certainly up until... Although now, um, I don't know what they're doing with the, any of their things. Last I heard, um, a lot of their members moved off to Retro Studios, so... Um, they may have had a hand in creating some of the more recent Donkey Kong games. Um, including Country Returns and Tropical Freeze, but anyway. Let's go inside the igloo and deliver some presents to them. So, yeah. Merry Christmas and all that. Oh, should I say Christmas in July? No, I'm not gonna say the rest of that. But yeah, it is freaking Christmas in July! It, today, the, the day I'm recording this is the 14th of July, so yeah, it's freaking Christmas in July! Anyway, I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye!